People of every age volunteered their Saturday morning to their community at the 89th annual Beautify Fresno event. AP students of Roosevelt High showed their dedication to beautifying the streets near where they spend their days learning. The coordinator for our AP pro program found out about this event. He is, I think he does a lot of work with Beautify Fresno um, as part of his work with Bass Fishing Club here on campus. And so he knew this event was going on. He has a connection to the coordinator and um, thought that it would be nice for our AP kids to get involved as a group. Usually with events like Beautify Fresno and other volunteer cleanup events around the city, there tends to be a lack of volunteers and a decrease in people showing up. However, this has not been the case. As Jerry Dyer explains, there's been an increase in volunteers this year. The name has become a household name, Beautify Fresno. No matter where I go, people know what Beautify Fresno is. Uh, more and more people are signing up. We're having more events. We're having multiple events. Even though they may have been given an extra credit opportunity for attending, Roosevelt students definitely showed they care about the streets of their community. Some of them were offered extra credit, okay. <laughs> so there was that. Um, but I also feel like at Roosevelt there is a there's a pretty strong spirit of being connected to the community. That's that is part of our campus culture. Is whether it is cigarette butts, batteries, or whatever it is that this student found, Mayor Jerry Dyer and Beautify Fresno are committed to making sure that seeing these items of trash on the street is not the norm. Everywhere, uh, not having uh, neighborhoods that look like they've been forgotten or left behind. And uh, that's why we're here in Southeast Fresno. In Fresno, Tyler Van Dyke, Fresno State Focus.